one of the questions Jimmy Z asked me is about signs that the bullies will give off before an incident happens. One of the major signs is when they tense up. It's called fixating. They will fixate on a person or another dog and they freeze at that moment. Everything changes. They stop breathing, tail stops wagging, body starts leaning forward. Hocks will go up. That's the fur on the back of their, on their backs. It'll stand up. Their ears, rather than being back like rows are right now, they'll be straight forward. Those are all the first signs of a dog being alerted to something that is, that's unwanted. Next step after that, they get real, real stiff and they, and they lean forward and they, and they want to go right into it and they'll just stand there and they, it's almost like they're frozen in, in, in time at that, at that point. And then at that point, they don't give you any kind of a warning. These dogs don't bark, they're not going to growl, they just act on another dog's reaction. You know, they're gonna react right away. If another dog just stops and gives them a certain glance, a certain look, they're gonna finish it. These dogs are finishers. Most of these dogs don't start fights, but if another dog challenges them, they will finish it. And it's always a bad thing. And these how these dogs get a bad reputation because right away they say, well, your dog attacked my dog. Nine times out of 10, it's their dog sending off a bad signal and dogs just doing what dogs do. They just go ahead and they finish it. It's a threat to them. And generally, if, if there are bad owners, and a lot of these guys are running around, there will be a situation where they will attack another dog because, again, it's a threat to them and they want to eliminate that threat as quickly as possible. But for the most part, they're great. And again, they don't give no signs, no signals usually. There's no growling, there's no barking. It's the body freezing up, leaning forward, fur going up, ears forward, tail straight in the air. It's like a flag. You know, people also make the mistake of saying, well, you, my, the dog is wag, wagging its tail. Aww. A wagging tail does, does mean a dog is happy. A wagging tail means a dog is taking in information. At that point, they're deciding whether or not they're going to react to that certain situation. And it also depends on, on what side the tail is wagging further on. If it's wagging more towards the right, and it's very hard for human eyes to pick it up. If it's wagging more to the right, the dog is more apt to want to, to like you. If it's wagging more to the left, that means the dog's a little apprehensive and might want to do something to protect itself. You know, dogs see people sometimes as a threat. They're taller. They don't know how to properly approach them. A lot of people don't go over and ask permission before they can uh, pet a dog. If someone goes forward to pet a dog and that dog backs up, that means that dog doesn't want to know that person. And people will continue because everybody wants to be liked. You know, but, you know, just people don't understand dog body language. They don't understand what that dog is trying to tell them. So a person will go forward again. And, you know, usually on the third time, the dog will give a warning at that point and will growl. A growl is a precursor to a bite. When a dog gives you a growl, that means the next step, if you don't back off, you're going to get bit. And at that point, I never fault the dog. I fault the people for not educating themselves properly. And parents that allow their children just to go up and pet stray dogs, they should be ashamed of themselves. You should teach your children, before a child goes over and pets a dog, ask parents permission first. Mommy and daddy, can I please pet that dog? Then go over to the owner of that dog and ask if you can pet that dog. And then make sure the owner gets the dog's attention so the dog knows that person or that child is going to go over and pet that dog. And then it's fine. They're not gonna have an issue. But when a dog is startled, it's going to do what it naturally does. It's going to do protect itself. It's either fight or flight. You back a dog into a corner, if they have nowhere to go, you're going to get bit. And it's very simple stuff. It's just about education. So again, some of the signs with any dog, ears forward, posture forward, they tense up, eyes fixate, furs up, tail stiff. That, that dog is ready for action. At that point, if you don't heed those, you're going to have a problem. So those are some of the signs. Also, another sign, if a dog, a dog raises its one paw, it could be the right or the left paw, that's called a strike position. That means that dog's getting ready to strike. That's a warning to another dog, letting him know. And they puff their bodies up. Just like 18-year-olds just like in high school. We're in high school, and you know, you got in a fight, first thing you do is you blow yourself up, you want to make yourself bigger. That's in, it's all animals. Birds do it with their feathers, dogs do it with their fur, cats puff up before they strike. That's one of the signs. You see an animal do that, best bet for you is to back off and leave it alone. Now, those are some of the signs. Again, it all goes back to education. You can't start educating your children early enough. Spaying and neutering a dog will help 
keep that dog's temperament at a nice balanced level. People say, well, I don't want to neuter my dog because it's going to affect me and my machoism. That's, that's not true. It doesn't take anything away from the dog. It will not take anything away from the owner. What it does is add years to a dog's life. Having a male dog neutered will cut back on his chances of developing testicular cancer. In a female, they will, will not, they'll wind up not developing ovarian cancer. So this, this has many, many benefits. Cuts down on their marking. Female dogs mark just as much as male dogs, sometimes even more. They're more dominant also. People think I get a male dog, he's gonna be a big. The female dogs are much more dominant. So you have to be even more weary with females in situations with other dogs than males. So those are some of the signs. Um, I know I, I'm going off, a little off track and everything, but there's so much information to be given out there and I can't seem to get enough information out you know, to educate enough people. Jimmy's, Jimmy Z is being a very responsible pet owner. He came to us asking for some of the signs. People said, well, they don't give off signs. They all give off signs. Every animal in the animal world gives off a sign. Again, ears forward, body stiff, eyes are fixated, body's puffed up, tail stiff. That's the sign that something's going to happen. You want to get your dog before that happens. The minute your dog turns and fixates on something, that's when you want to get his attention. You want to snap him out of it. You know, a touch to the body. A simple tug of the chain, you know. Those are all the things that are going to snap his mind and get it going forward again to, to, to react to you. You can take treats. I don't have any with me right now, but I take treats and I hold them to a dog's nose and I hold them to my nose and I tell them to look at me. I want them to focus on me rather than the object or the animal that they're looking at. So those are some of the tips, you know. And again, I want to thank Jimmy. I wish more people would be responsible, uh, responsible pet owners. Due diligence. Educate yourself learn the signs, know what to look for. Never set your dog up for failure. Always assume your dog is gonna fight with another dog. Never take for granted it's not gonna be a bad issue. Never leave your dog alone unattended with any children at any time. I don't care what kind of dog it is, from a Chihuahua to a Great Dane. Never leave your dog unattended. They're animals, they're unpredictable. Things could change at any moment. So, always be cautious, beware. Spay and neuter, continue to watch and we're going to educate you as much as possible. Thank you very much.